In uh, thermal processing, we often use the uh, 12D concept. And also there is a term called bot cook that is used in uh, commercial processing. Let's uh, look at these terms and see what they mean. One way of understanding this 12D concept is to first see how we determine thermal resistance of microorganisms. It is done by placing an inoculated suspension of a certain microorganism in a container, usually a very small container such as a capillary tube, and then subjecting it to a heat treatment. The container has to be very small so that we get instantaneous heating and cooling. The time of heating for the complete destruction of the microorganism is then used to determine the thermal resistance of that microorganism. A heat treatment of a food is based on the most resistant microorganism that can cause health hazard or a microorganism that can cause spoilage if those microorganisms grow after the thermal treatment. Now recall that the thermal destruction for most microbial populations is described with a logarithmic relationship and total destruction of a microorganism then is not possible. So we work with probability of survival. The probability of survival can be reduced to a very small number. Of course then the question is what should be that level? Almost a uh, hundred years ago ST and Meyer performed experiments to determine thermal resistance of microorganisms. They placed largest amount of the concentration they could get of Clostridium botulinum and they were able to get 10 raised to power 12 spores of Clostridium botulinum per milliliter and they found that at 121 degrees Celsius, which is same as 250 degrees Fahrenheit, they could reduce the concentration of the microbial spores of Clostridium botulinum to one survivor in 2.78 minutes of heating. In later experiments by Townsend in 1938, that time value was corrected to 2.45 minutes. Now recall that D value represents 90% reduction in the existing population and the thermal death time, that is the F value, is some multiple of the D value. Uh, note that D value gives you 90% reduction but obviously you want more than 90% reduction. So the thermal death time value is a multiple of the D value. For Clostridium botulinum then, F represents the heating time to reduce the population by a factor of 10 raised to power 12. As you note in ST and Myers experiments, initial spores from 10 raised to power 12 were reduced to one survivor in their heating treatment. So for Clostridium botulinum, which represents a pathogen that can cause health hazard, Z value is uh, 10 degrees C and at a temperature of 121 degrees C we use that temperature as a reference temperature then the reference F value will be F10 for the Z value and 121 for the reference temperature and you may want to refer to the uh, tutorial on uh, F values. We also express this reference F value as F0, uh, subscript 0. So anytime we write F0, it means F10 for Z and 121 for temperature. Then F0 equals D times log of N0 over N. Now N0 is the initial population and N is the final population. If we have 10 raised to power 12 spores in the beginning and one spore at the end, we have D times log of 10 raised to power 12 
over 10 raised to power 0. And that gives us d times log 10 raised to power 12. Log of 10 raised to power 12 is 12. So f equals 12d. In commercial thermal processing, often a process is compared to the reference process of f0 equals 12d and it's also called Bott-Cook where Bott stands for botulinum. So if in a can there are 1000 spores of Clostridium botulinum present then after a Bott-Cook the remaining spores can be obtained from spoilage probability again you may want to refer to that tutorial where we found that 1 over r equals n0 over 10 raised to power f over d or if n0 is 1000 spores 10 raised to power 3 divided by 10 raised to power 12 d over d which gives us 10 raised to power minus 9 so that means out of 10 raised to power 9 cans processed one can will have a surviving spore now we may have a situation where a thermal process may be adequate for inactivating spore forming pathogens but the bacteria that causes spoilage may survive because many spoilage bacteria have a higher d value of around one minute if we use a 12d process based on the spoilage bacteria then for example we will need 12 times 1 minute that means it's 12 minutes that may be too long for heating and it will cause major quality loss processors generally like to keep the spoilage rate of less than 1 per thousand cans of course the process must meet the requirements for food safety so it must be equivalent to the bot cook we will consider the design of a process based on the botulinum cook as well as to minimize spoilage in another tutorial.